Good morning and welcome to uh, Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. And today's devotion is titled, The Dangers of Covetousness. And we'll be reading out of the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 15. And it reads, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. During his earthly ministry, the fame and reputation of Jesus naturally spread throughout the land. People often sought his advice. So as he was teaching one day, a man demanded that Jesus solve a dispute between the man and his brother regarding their inheritance. Jesus knew this man was motivated by greed, so he told a story to teach a lesson. The story included a wealthy man who became overcome by greed and decided to enjoy a season of sensual living. What the man did not know was that God would end his life on earth before he got to enjoy any of his wealth. The purpose of Jesus' story was to warn of the danger of covetousness. People who work tirelessly in order to accumulate wealth are in danger of neglecting heavenly riches, riches that truly matter. In our world, it seems nearly everyone works hard in order to retire as early as possible. Many have set financial goals and crafted plans so that day will come when they no longer have to work, but will have the financial freedom to rest easy. While retirement from physical labor may be a useful or required goal, we should be very careful that we do not store up earthly treasures at the expense of being rich toward God. Everything we have, including our jobs, has been granted to us by God in order to facilitate the advancement of His kingdom. Much better than a few easy years of financial freedom at the end of our earthly lives is an eternity of rest in the presence of God with no regrets. And our final thought is, may we use our resources for heavenly gain. So as you all know, most of you probably know that follow my devotions, know that I collect baseball cards. And I have a baseball card um, collection and I share it on my YouTube channel. Now, truth be known, as and I've explained this before, my devotions are the ultimate goal of my YouTube channel. My baseball cards are a medium to gain an audience, to gain followers, to gain friends, to, to, to gain acquaintances. Um, don't get me wrong, through the baseball card community, I have made some absolutely wonderful, wonderful friends. But, and I've also been able to come across some very wonderful Christian brothers and sisters as well, which is a true blessing. But my, my hope and, and goal for my channel is that through the card collecting, I can spread the Word of God through that media. As you know, if anyone has seen my baseball card videos, I make it a point at the end of my videos to share the gospel, to share the reason why I do what I do. And that's very important. God gave us things to occupy our time with. We have hobbies, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. Have as many hobbies as you would like. But here's the fun part and the tricky part sometimes. Find a way to allow that hobby to enhance the kingdom. Think about that. Find a way to allow your hobby to enhance the kingdom. That's the kingdom of God. We have opportunities through our hobbies to meet like-minded folks that share the similar interests that we have. But if we don't have those hobbies, we may not ever get to meet those people. Hence, we'll never have the opportunity to share the gospel with those people. So look at your hobby as an opportunity to fulfill the Great Commission, to spread the gospel, to share the good news. That's what hobbies should be about. An avenue for us Christians to share the good news with non-believers that may have something in common with you, and that's the hobby. So I hope that's uh, been enlightening for you. Uh, it certainly really opened my eyes to all my hobbies. Now, whenever I get a, a new hobby or even an existing hobby, first thing I do is analyze it and look at it. How can I do the Lord's work through this hobby? And I'll tell you, not only do you get more fulfillment out of the hobby, but I'm not joking. I, I swear to you, I feel like God is opening up that hobby more and more to me because of what I'm doing for him through it. It's amazing. So, uh, 
give it a try. Use your hobbies to enhance the kingdom. Awesome. So we'll catch you all later. Uh, have a great rest of your day, and hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow in the devotion. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.